Okay, here we're going to introduce you to the concept of long division. Okay. Now, I'm going to remind you about how you did long division when you were back in grade 6 or 7. You would first of all do the 5, it doesn't go into the 1, so you do 5 into 17 is 3, and you put the 3 above the 7 and 17. You then multiply it by that, and you then would subtract. Then you'd bring down the 2, and you would just repeat that process. 5 doesn't go into 2, 5 into 22 is 4, so you put the 4 over the 2. You do 4 times 5 is 20, and you subtract, and then you bring down the next number. Then you do 5 into 23 is 4, 4 times 5 is 20, and out would pop what you would get is the remainder. So you then say 1723 divided by 5 equals 344 plus 3 over the 5. That's your remainder, and that's what you're dividing by. Or you'd write it as 344 and 3 fifths. Okay, so that's long division using numbers. Now, when we're doing long division using equations, and, uh, and polynomials. It's almost the exact same concept. The first thing I do is I take the x plus 2 and I just look at the x and I th say to myself, self, what do I have to multiply the x by to get 2x cubed? And the answer is 2x squared. And I'm going to put that x squared over that x squared term. And now multiply this by both of these guys. So that'll give me 2x cubed, and 2x squared times 4 is 4x squared. And now just as I did over here, I'm going to subtract these things. The only thing you have to watch for is to make sure you're, if you're subtracting a negative. These guys, if you set it up right, will always cancel, so I have 0. 5x squared take away 4x squared is 1x squared. And now, just as I did over here, I'm going to bring down the next term. And I just keep repeating that process. What do I have to multiply x by to get 1x squared? My answer would be 1x, or just x. I do 1x times both of these guys. And that leaves me with 1x squared, and 1x times 2 leaves me with 2x. And now I subtract. Here you have to be careful. These guys should always cancel the first two. Then it's negative 7 subtract positive 2. So that takes me to negative 9x. Bring down the next term, which is plus 8, and carry on x has to be multiplied by negative 9 to get to negative 9x. Now I do negative 9 times both of those guys, and that gives me negative 9x, and negative 9 times plus 2 gives me minus 18. And now we're going to subtract, and here it's subtracting a negative. So you have plus 8, subtract negative 18. What I usually do at this time is I just automatically remind myself that's a plus if I'm subtracting a negative. So 8 plus 18 will give me positive 26. And that becomes my remainder. So if the question was 2x cubed plus 5x squared minus 7x plus 8 divided by x plus 2 I can then say my answer is 2x squared plus 1x minus 9, and my remainder is plus 26, so I write a plus sign there and a 26, and I put it over what I'm dividing by, which is x plus 2, just the same as I had over here. Okay, so that's my remainder, and this is my quotient here. Okay.